What's going on YouTube? Giosno right here. So in today's video, we're talking about iOS 14 jailbreak and some updates we have from ABC Research. This video is brought to you by Anyfix, a software created to fix system errors, to fix iTunes synchronization errors with your device, restore your device, enter and exit recovery mode, and of course, upgrade and downgrade. Definitely check it out in the link below. So as you probably know, Apple released iOS 14 yesterday, and of course, it made headlines on all news websites. That's nothing new, but something else else that made headlines was the fact that Pengu managed to completely jailbreak iOS 14 on the day of the release. I talked about this in the previous video. However, there is also another security company that managed to jailbreak the GM or the Golden Master version, which is of course the latest release worthy version of the iOS 14. Back on August, the ABC Research posted this quote, that was not easy, but we did it. iOS 14 exploit and zero day. And then of course they demonstrate here a jailbreak working of course on iOS 14 beta. Their jailbreak tool is that one with the ABC research in there and they managed to even get SSH working just like Pango did in here. But Pango did it on the GM version or the Golden Master version which is the latest one and ABC research did it on a beta. However, during this weeks they kept us updated with various new photos of their jailbreak working on newer and newer betas, to the point where they posted back on September 14 a photo in which they show that they do have their jailbreak working on a recent beta of iOS 14 and of course they got SSH working. And then of course just 10 hours ago they posted this quote, here we go again this time with the 14.0 release. So they managed to get the same thing that Pango did, a jailbreak working on the stable release version of the iOS 14. Now why is this exactly very good news? Well because iOS 14 is not as easy to jailbreak. Jake James, another developer in our community, makes it very clear in here when he says, quote, if no MTE on A14, then hooray, iOS 14 brought enough mitigations for us to suffer. So how exactly do we suffer? Well, the jailbreak community and the jailbreak developers are having a hard time creating a jailbreak for the iOS 14. Even the Checkrain is not supporting the iOS 14 for the moment, even though Checkrain uses a bootroom exploit, which of course works on 14. The iOS 14 changed the landscape quite a lot, so we would definitely need some work for a jailbreak on this iOS version. But there is even more bad news. Apple unveils the new iPad Air with the A14 Bionic chip, Apple's most advanced chip. So basically, back on September 15, when they held the event, the Apple event, and they announced, of course, a new iPad Air, they also announced the A14 Bionic chip that comes with this iPad in here. And of course, it's rumored that there will be an iPhone release on October this year, so basically in a month, and you can be sure that new iPhone will have A14 chip. So what's exactly the problem with A14? Why is it a problem? Well, every time we get a new chip, every time we get a new CPU on these devices, it poses a threat to the jailbreak community. Because you probably know A12, A13, these are the latest chips available, and they are of course harder to jailbreak than normal. And of course an A14 would definitely be even harder to jailbreak because while there are some good news, for example for now there is no MTE or memory tagging extension on A14, they can add those in the future. And according to Jake James, this new A14 chip is not using the same CPU subtype as the A13, so it's no longer ARM64E, which means that they're using a new instruction set, a new version of the instruction set for the ARM, which means again that they are able to add MTE or memory tagging extension in the future, which would make the life of the jailbreakers even harder, especially for the newer devices. So it's very likely that the iPhone 12 that will be released in October will have the A14 chip. In fact, I'm pretty sure it will. And I'm pretty sure it will be harder to jailbreak due to that A14 chip, especially in the beginning. Now, while the ABC research managed to jailbreak iOS 14 with no problem in here, and also Pangu managed today to jailbreak the iOS 14, this is very nice but they did it on A13, which is basically the iPhone 11, 11 Pro and stuff like that. While very impressive, it's nowhere near the new A14 chip, about which we know basically nothing until we get this iPad in our hands. And nobody got it for the moment. So what should you do if you are interested in jailbreaking your device as soon as possible? Well, while there are multiple security researchers who have jailbroken 
iOS 14, both the beta and the GM, I would definitely stay on 13.7 for now. Because of course we will get an exploit from a developer, he announced the fact that he is going to release an exploit when the time comes, when it's possible to do so. So I highly recommend it to stay on 13.7 for now. A new A14 chip is coming, which of course would pose a threat for the jailbreak community once again, so hopefully it's not going to be too bad. But for now, stay away from both the A14 chip and from the iOS 14 if you want the jailbreak. Thank you for watching, I am GS Now. Till the next time, subscribe to stay updated and peace out.